Just wondering, how was your service? <laughs> it was good, it was good. It was... It, the service was... The service was great. It was like, you did great. You were fantastic. James Corden got banned from entering a famous restaurant in NYC, and he isn't taking any of this. He's going crazy from all this negative attention. Well, that isn't true. I remember leaving. I left a perfectly good tip. I left, I left, yeah, I did. I left $10. Yeah, it was a $340 meal. <laughs> It was recently revealed by the owner of Baltazar that they banned the Late Late Show host James Corden for allegedly parading and yelling at servers. According to restaurateur Keith McNally, James was their most abusive customer ever since the restaurant opened in 1997. That says a lot, don't you think? Well, McNally didn't stop there. He shared two instances from when James visited. First was when he reportedly found a strand of hair in his main course when dining there in June. Before demanding free drinks for the mistake, the manager of the restaurant was very apologetic since it was their fault, that is if he didn't plant it there, but James Corden was nasty and said, get us another round of drinks this second, and also take care of all of our drinks so far. This way, I write any nasty reviews on Yelp or anything like that. The second incident was far worse than that. This time, James was dining with his wife Julia Carey and she ordered an egg yolk omelette with a salad. The couple was furious and claimed that there was a little bit of egg white mixed with the egg yolk and sent the dish back. Again, they were all apologetic and sent another dish but with fries this time instead of a salad. James Corden began yelling like crazy to the server saying, You can't do your job. You can't do your job. Maybe I should go into the kitchen and cook the omelette myself. Does that mean his bright and bubbly facade was all fake? We thought he was a genuinely good guy after watching his shows. A lot of people went on Twitter to narrate their own rude encounter with the host sharing. Considering the way James Corden treated people in the Broadway house I managed years ago, I'm actually surprised he hasn't been banned for more than Baltazar's. And another saying, thinking about the time that James Corden skipped us in the handicap line at Disneyland because he was famous. Their jobs at Baltazar are hard enough, we don't blame them for banning someone like James Corden. The Late Late Show host apparently profusely apologized to Keith McNally after he put up the post. The ban got lifted but let's see what happens to his career. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.